hello everyone welcome to online engineering by sj today we will discuss about the portal frame method this is uh, the frame which we need to analyze uh, this is the indeterminate structure we need to analyze it by portal frame method so here are some assumptions that need to be known in this the horizontal shears in the interior columns is taken as double that of interior exterior columns and the point of contraflexor lies at the midpoint of the column theek hai uh, now first step is to find the shear forces in the column firstly the horizontal shear the shear forces in the column horizontal shears top story we have taken this is the top story contraflexor occurs at the midpoint this is the midpoint means half the distance sigma fx is equal to 0 uh, then we add all the forces acting in the column p plus 2p plus 2p and then p total 6p and 120 kilo newton is acting in the opposite direction so here we get p as 120 and now bottom story here two forces are acting means 120 at our and 200 at the bottom story so we need to add these forces and taking it equal as r r 2r 2r and r uh, we have taken 2r and 2r in the mid means uh, interior columns because this is the assumption that the interior column forces is double of exterior columns so we find out R as 53.33 now our next step is to now our next step is to find out the moment at the end of column top story we have taken M A E means uh, the exterior column and uh, it is equal to M E A means uh, as the force is same so moment will also be same and MDH and MHD these are also the exterior columns so here the force is also same so the moment will be same P into H by 2 means half the distance 20 into 3.5 by 2 which is equal to 35 and now the interior columns in which the force is double means 2P 2P into H by 2 so here we got the value as 70 kN meter this is for top story and now bottom story MEI is equal to MEIE as the force is same which is equal to MHL and MLH because these are all exterior columns so the value for this is R into H by 2 so we got this value as 93.33 and now for uh, interior columns MFI, MIF, MGK and mkg all these are interior columns of the bottom story so here the value is 2r because the force is double of exterior columns so 2r into h by 2 here we got the value as 186.66 so the moment here is 186.66 now next step is to find the moment at the end of beam firstly we will see the diagram here is the beam M, A, B, B, C, C, D, E, F, G, H and F, G. These are all our beams. So for top story, M, A, B is equal to M, B, A is equal to M, B, C is equal to M, C, B, M, C, D and M, D, C. All these are equal because the forces acting on these are equal. So P into H by 2. Here we got the value as 35. Now for bottom story, bottom story, there is a total three beams means six moments. So M E F is equal to M F E because the value for though both the same, which is equal to M E F M F E M G H, sorry M F G M G F M G H and M H G. So for finding the M E F, uh, it's uh, formula is mav plus r into h by 2 or you can also use p into r p plus r into h by 2 so you can find out uh, the value of 
MEF which is 128.33 now our next step is to find out the shear forces in the beam now next step shear forces in beam for top story here the moment at A due to B and moment at B due to A divided by 5 5 means the length of the span of beam okay so VAB is equal to uh, 14 kN and BBA is also equal to 14 kN but in downward direction now BBC is a 14 kN and uh, BCV is also this and similarly VCD now for bottom story MEF value and MIF value are same so by adding both the values and dividing by 5 we get the value of VEF and VFE MFG and MGF MGH and VGH so we got the bottom story values as 51.33 and for uh, top story as 14 kilo newton now we will show it in our diagram all the values of moment as well as the shear forces so this is the diagram after having all the shear forces mentioned in it this is 14 MAB MBC uh, MCD Th these are all shear forces means VC B VAB and VCD these are 14 and now VEF 51.33 VFG 51.33 VGH is also same because the span of the beam is same and now for columns columns here uh, this is P means the P is the shear force which is acting here means at exterior column and 2P is the force which is acting in the interior columns so it is double so this value is 20 so the double value is 40 40 and 20 here 53.33 106.66 10.66 and here 106 here it will be 53.33 here it will be 53.33 so we will make it as 53.33 because it is the exterior column so it will be 53.33 so the assumptions are correct because uh, here this is R this is 2R means the interior columns have double self force okay thank you for watching this video hope you understand it well and post your queries also thank you